guys you're welcome back to my channel this is sim and stitches again okay happy new year to you all my fans thank you for sticking with sim and stitches in 2023 all right so this is 2024 and i have come again with this hack i'm going to teach you how i turn this bottle into this pin holder so you have this pin holder that you have on your wrist and i'm going to teach you how i did it i'm sure a lot of you know this bottle and uh, you drink and throw it away so i wanted to learn something today and not throw it away again all right so here are things that you need you need a fiber that is a fiber you usually find this in your pillow or your beddings so you can just go to the market and get that then you need a piece of cloth you need an elastic band elastic band one inch elastic band you need your thread and needle and you need a special tool i'm not going to tell you now okay let's go so you need to cut you fold uh, this fabric and then you cut it in a circle like the way you cut you cut your circle skirt so the essence of this is just to have a rounded shape we want to try and get something that is round in the edges just for us to have something that will give us something like a ball when we are done putting the fiber inside of it so this is going to hold the fiber and then we need something round if you are unable to get a round completely round shape you can go ahead and just trim off the edges to give you a circle edge you know just to be rounded you can see what i'm saying that has something that has to do with a ball so that is what we want to do now the next thing you need now is your um thread and your needle you remember what your length as as a beginner when you started your fashion designing career so you're going to be using that hand stitch method here so about 0 0.5 inches or 0 0.25 inches distance between one stitch and the other so you go in that way in and out in and out in and out until you are done all through the circumference of the fabric that you have cut now i intentionally used a contrasting thread by the time you are making yours make sure that you use a matching thread so uh, so that your stitches will be neat and well done and it won't be obvious so for the purpose of this lesson i used a contrasting thread all right, so you keep stitching it in and out, in and out, until you go all the way through the circle. So that was what I did here. Okay, so at that point where you see that um, you're almost done with the stitch, you can see it's already forming your cone-like shape and it's uh, giving you a whole lot to fill something into. Alright, so you stop. Instead of closing it up, you stop and then you fill it up with the fiber. You fill each and every bit of this circle that you just created. Um, you fill it up with the fiber and make sure that it is firm at the same time it is soft not too firm it is it should be firm enough for you to be able to um put a pin into and it will hold the pin it shouldn't be soft because if, if it is soft you know the pin won't um stand well and it won't give you the structure that you need so keep feeling uh, depending on the size that you want so you keep on feeling and feeling and feeling until you get a firm result something firm and you know like can you can see what i'm saying you can hold it it's bouncy it's soft at the same time it should be firm so just continue to feel and that was what i did here i went on to feel it now here we are yes this is a secret tool i told you about the cover the lid of that bottle you remember the um the drink that you threw the bottle away the cover is what we are using so this cover is going to stand as the base is going to stand as the base of this um cushion that you just created so it's going to stand so you just put it the inside um of the bottle facing the um fiber you ensure that the hard flat surface is the one that you have on the outside outer side and then the inside of it the one that has the hollow is the one facing 
the fiber side and after that you hold it firmly to give you that structure that you want and you continue with your stitches you stitch it until it is firm like very firm so that is what you do here you stitch and stitch and stitch holding it firm to ensure that the structure does not shake so you keep checking to be sure that it still maintains the position that you put it because we want the flat surface to be laying at uh, at the tip of this ball that we just created so because that is what is going to be attached on your elastic band when you finish um swinging and you have it on your wrist so you just go ahead and stitch it with your um, needle continue stitching until you have the best you can see as i was stitching i was still cross checking are we still good is this still bouncy is this still firm is it not too soft these are the things that you consider when you are doing your stitches very easy to do right so at this point i decided to experiment and see what i've been doing so far and i can see that well it's okay it's good i'm comfortable with the texture and the consistency you can see what i'm doing i i inserted the pin and it's holding the pin so at this point you are good to go and move to the next stage so what i just did basically was to cut off the ss that i have here i trimmed it off to ensure that it is um flattened because i need that place that place to be flat for me to be able to stitch it on the wristband okay so you go ahead and do the same and also you not um you tie the knot for the thread that you use so you just close it up tie the knots to ensure that it doesn't loosen when you are using it so tie it very well and um, you cut it off that's just basically what i did here all right so the next thing i went on to do was to measure my wrist i took my measuring tape and I measured my wrist um, circumference. So I had about 6 point something, 6.75 or so. I rounded it up to 7 inches because I don't want it to be too firm. Such that it's not affecting my blood flow circulation. So I gave it the ease allowance and I had 7 inches. So I used that 7 inches as my measurement for my elastic band. So I added 1 inch for seam for stitching it. So I measured 8 inches. And I cut out the elastic band to be 8 inches. I, I only added 1 inch for the stitch allowance. So that's just that. And then the next thing I did was to fold my fabric. And I cut double of my wrist measurement. So I used 7 inches. I measured double. That is like 15 inches. And I folded it. And I cut it into 2 m 1.5. So 1.5 inches by height. And 15 inches by um width so that was what i caught and i took it to the same machine and see st uh, stitched it on a straight stitch so i just sew it basically folded it and sew it now you two can also do the same go ahead cut your fabric measure your wrist cut your elastic band using your wrist measurement and then you go ahead and cut the fabric that you're going to be inserting the um the elastic band in so I cut mine as well and then you go on to the sewing machine and you stitch this now. So after doing the stitching, I went on to turn the um, the band that I just stitched. I turned it inside out to give me the right side. 
So, which means that I stitched it on the wrong side. Yes, don't forget that you're stitching the wrong side. So, right side facing each other and you stitch it, that's the wrong side. So, after that, you turn it over to the right side, such that you have the neatly sewn side to be on the wrong side. So, that was what I did. Okay, so when I was done stitching it, as you can see in the video, so I have my band now, something like a scrunchies that you use to tie your hair. So you have it that way now. Now you can see that it fits perfectly into my wrist without being too tight and it isn't too, it isn't loose such that it's falling off. So it's just perfect size um, that I need. Now the next thing now, the you place the rough part of your cushion on the stitched part of the band such that you have it all hidden and then you continue you go on with your thread and needle as you have started so you continue with that so you stitch the cushion to the band you stitch the cushion to the band you stitch the cushion to the band and you keep doing that on and off on and off don't forget i intentionally used a contrasting thread because of this um because of this video when you are doing yours make sure that you use a matching thread such that you don't have any complex or complicated you know rough rough stitch so you can keep doing that continue to stitch it on and off on and off until it holds firmly together you bind both the cushion with the wrist so that's just basically what you do at this point. Make sure that your stitches are hidden well and they are neat. So keep doing that. Alright, so with that, you are done and you have successfully created your pin holder for your wrist. You can see that. Yes, look how beautiful it is. Very convenient. You can now press in your pins as you're working. You don't need to lose it. You know, pin can just disappear. They are, just, they are like Taylor's chalk. You just, you know, when you buy one this week, by next week, they are gone. Except you have something like this or you have a magnet. But this is quite better it's um fashionable it's easy and convenient so you just have to put in your pins and you are good to go yes so you, it gives you the feeling of you having a wrist band or a wrist watch this one is a wrist pin holder or a pin cushion and there you have it thank you very much for staying tuned 
to this tutorial i hope it was helpful and i hope you enjoyed watching kindly subscribe to my channel please you know how we do it subscribe to my channel like this video and i promise you another banger in my next one bye